Hi guys, this is Brenda. Welcome to my channel, Planty Pants. Thank you so much for joining me today. If this is the first time for tuning in for you, for tuning into one of my videos, thank you so much. Um, I hope you enjoy it. I do plant videos and today I am going to be talking about the different methods that I have used to stake my plants and the different moss pole techniques that I have been using and what I'm finding works best for me and not so good. So having said that, what I'm going to start is just showing you a couple of plants that I have that I've put on moss poles and um, and how they're doing right now, showing you the different ones. So the first one I want to show you is my silver sword, philodendron silver sword. I put this on a moss pole, I feel like it's been a few months now. And this, is, of course, is a homemade moss pole with, um, you know, the plastic hardware cloth, sphagnum moss. Um, at the base of the plant, I, I filled it up until here with dirt in the bottom portion with soil and then put it in there so it's pretty much standing there just because of the diameter of you know the moss pole that I created. The silver sword is doing really great it's absolutely loving this pole it's totally adhering to it growing into it and she looks fantastic I have no complaints at all and I have these cute little um, little vessels I'm sure you've seen them that you can they have, they have tubes, they're watering um, vessels for moss poles. I poke it down in there and I water this portion um, like every two days to make sure that it kind of sort of stays damp. Um, unfortunately, you have to get all the way down to here, so this is going to be damp as long as, as long as it's here. I also use a squirt bottle and um, squirt right here too. So this technique is pretty easy. It was pretty easy to make um, and I feel like it's very good. A uh, very good remedy for making your own moss pole. I'm happy with this. I have like, f I feel like four like this. So there's one. And then this one, um, I think I did a video on when I chopped up my um, philodendron, my red emerald philodendron. It was only like one stalk in my living room and I hacked it all back. And I did a video about propagating it. I propagated all of these pieces um, in sphagnum moss. And pretty soon I had like, I wanna say five or six. You can see by the base of this that there's quite a few pieces that are growing now and they're all really loving this particular kind of moss pole. My problem with this moss pole is that the, the base of it is wood. It's wonderful because it's extendable, but it's wood and this wood's gonna rot. It's probably pine, it's not bamboo. If they made it out of like a bamboo stake, maybe, but this is gonna rot eventually and I'm kind of bummed about that. Um, but much to my surprise, this plant really loved, um, really loved when I put it here. I mean, she just muckled right onto it really fast and she's growing really, really, really great. So this is a good, um, a good moss pole, I suppose, but it's gonna rot eventually. I don't know how you would, you know, avoid it rotting, but bamboo, if they made it out of bamboo. So this one, I don't know what's gonna happen, but I, I've used it. I don't know if I would recommend these short poles, but I, I've used them and, I'm, and I have a few more, so. Okay, and then another method I have tried is not really a moss pole, but a board. This is my um, Monstera Celtepicana. Um, and as you can see, what's holding this one in is just a stake. It's actually a bamboo stake. But this, I need to, as you can see, I need to extend. So that's one of the things we're gonna be doing today. Then I have another moss pole that I'm gonna show you that I just got, um, well, two more different kinds. But let's just start with this, because this is just a chore I've been putting off, so I just have to do it. So this plant, this, and I have a lot of Monstera Stiltepicana. Um, I was really excited with how big the leaves got after, after it was on this pole for a while. See how big the leaves are now? So it's really beautiful. So what I'm gonna to try to do is extend this pole and the only way that I could think of doing it was to have another piece 
and to actually, you know, put it up here and extend it, but also to try to adhere a longer stake, <laughs> a longer stake here and all the way up to here. So we'll see what happens. So I'm going to go ahead and put it in a different pot, and I think I'm going to put it in the pot that it's in right now. I'll show you and bring it down here with me. I'm going to put her in here so that I can plant this um, stake deeper, and so we'll have more stability because you see how it's kind of wobbly? All right, so we're going to do that. Let me put it into my beautiful new batch of soil. I just made another whole deep batch this morning. Well, let's just see how this goes. A little bit of that in there. All right, let's see what this looks like. I'm kind of nervous, but she definitely doesn't need a drink today. Does not need a drink. All right. So the roots look pretty good. I don't know how much I want to disturb this. I do want to take this off. And I think I may have just put the right amount in there. Nope, I didn't. There's too much in there. I want it to go. Whoop! Rats. I don't want that in there. I want it to go deeper. I want it to go deeper. Yeah, like that. I want it to go deeper like this. I'm sinking it deeper. And I'm going to go ahead and fill it up. I feel like it's going to be more stable. I broke a leaf for this from this this morning. I popped a leaf right off when I was moving it in here. Okay, a little bit more. I put extra worm castings in in my soil this batch. I'm not sure why, but I did. All right, so that's pretty good. That's pretty good. So, let me put this up here. All right, so we're doing this together. I'm either going to sink or swim. I have no idea. All right, so here's the other, um, the other piece. And here is the steak that I used, or that I brought. I'm going to put it right beside this one and have it right up against the back like that. And what I thought I would do is tie it there. So I have brought some string with me. Let's see how this works. All right, so I'm just gonna take a piece of this twine, tie this around here, like right there. I just wanna tie it really tight so so it uh, holds there, so it stays up. All right, so, all right, let's see how this works. I'm taking this one, I'll bring you all the way up with me this time, okay? I'm taking this one and I am going to Every time I see a little tiny black dot, I feel like it's a thrift again. It's not, but I feel like it is. Actually, you know what? I'm going to bring you up a little bit higher. There we go. Let's do that. Okay. Right there. So I'm going to take only like half of this off. That's really not that hard. See, I'm just taking part of it off like this, and then I'm holding it back right in the middle, oops, holding it back like that, I'm going to, oops, wait, I'm going the wrong way. <laughs> Like that, 
and pull this over. Come on, man. Yeah, wait, wait. I feel like, I wish I could get it a little bit better in there. There we go, like that. There we go. Oh my gosh, I can't believe I just did that. So, it's not very stable. How do I make it? I feel like I'm gonna have to tape that together. I'm gonna have to get some white tape and tape that together right there. But I will, I will do that. Well, that's gonna work just fine. So as you can see, all I did was add another piece and it's just gonna keep climbing up, which is super exciting to me. So I just have to get a piece of white tape, which I have, and I'm going to tape this right here on both sides. Let me let you see the back. I made these things out of uh, like wall tiles, cork wall tiles. So you can see what I'm doing. So I'm just gonna tape right here to hold this together. But I'm pretty, I'm pretty happy with the way that turned out. It's more secure because I planted it deeper. And so this is just one way that I am experimenting with different kinds of poles, climbing poles. So there's that. Success, let me get her out of the way. She's a little bit precarious right now until I get her taped. Okay, the next thing I'm gonna do is stake up this beautiful Syngonium Chia Pence that I have that is just dying to crawl. And what I'm gonna use for her is a brand new kind of moss pole that I just got in the mail. And I've seen these advertised and I, they look pretty easy to me. They look like they're gonna be successful in, you know, um, having your plants adhere to it. But I'm not sure, I'm totally not sure, but I'm excited to show you them. Oh my gosh. These are um, also gonna be, you're not gonna to have to use any uh, stakes. Not that I'm aware of. All right, so here's the first one. Let me show you what this is. What you do is you fold it. Let me bring you down here. Let me clear me an area again now that I've made a mess. Okay, you take these and according to the directions, you fold right along the crease lines. I meant to fold there, you can kind of see the little, the little crease. Have like this little pre pre um this little pre there's a little crease line that you can just see and follow down so I'm folding it. And that one. And now there's a crease all the way down. And do the other side. Same thing. This one this side's a little bit harder to find. Crease. But once you do this, I mean, I like the idea of this. First of all, I like the idea that it's totally clear. So that's kind of cool. Um, there we go. And then you just lock these sides in. You just tuck it in. They're like a little, see? Tuck it in. Pretty, pretty 
simple. Well, I can tell. Did that one pop out? No? Okay. So then, of course, you can guess what to do after. You just want to cram it full of moss. I suppose you could probably put the moss in first. But look, that's pretty cool. So this is the moss pole. Okay. So I have some moss right here. I have some moss. I have some lovely moss. So let's just start stuffing. God willing. Actually, I can just put this right up here so you can see what I'm doing. I'm assuming this is the base because it it's not, doesn't have holes all the way in it. Well, I hope I have enough moss in here. Oops. Hmm. Might reconsider how I do this next time. I don't know what I'm looking. Because now it's popping out. I think I put too much in there. Oh my goodness gracious. Okay. Maybe if I just try to get some loosely in there first. Actually, how about if I poke it down in there? Yep, that's that's gonna be the key right there. So this is exciting. I'm excited to, to do this with you guys. I'm thinking about it. I really care about, you know, my plants and how they grow and all that, so. Yeah, this is the top, so I'm going to focus on this side now. You know what I mean? You just got to, you know what, you just have to try whatever, whatever works for you. I mean, I've never done this before, so... I'll let you know how these work. These are a little bit pricey in my opinion. I feel like I paid freaking $15 for two of them and it's just a piece of plastic. <laughs> but if, uh, if it works really great, then maybe it's worth it. You know? Oh my gosh, I used so much moss on this. Oh, look how good it looks though. It's coming along. So I'm going to poke this side in right there and put a little bit more in. I think that's enough for now. I can always put more in after. All right, and this is the bottom. Let's put a little bit more in here and then we'll really shove it in there and then put soil in there. And then we'll plant that. Um, plant that. This is a really wide, another thing you want to consider for this, it's really very wide. So, um, the pot's going to have to be really big. So, now that I've said that, let's see. All right, let me put a little bit of soil in the base. Actually, let me just put this right up here. And I'm going to use this pot right there. So put some soil in here. That's what I usually do anyway. All right. All right, so this is ready pretty much. So I'm going to put a teeny bit in the bottom of this pot. Oh my gosh, I hope this fits. Dang, gum it. I think it will. So then... I think so. What do you think of that? That looks pretty good, right? I feel like it does. Can't get any closer to that edge because of how how big this thing is. <laughs> it's freaking massive. It's standing up. All right, I'm gonna take out my chingonium. 
I feel like I just potted this kind of sort of recently, so I did. Hmm. Wow, the roots are, the roots are really stuck. What's going on with that? Mm -hmm. All right, well, I'm not sure how to, There we go. Oh my gosh, look at those roots. Look at those. <laughs> Beautiful, huh? All right, I'm going to stick this right in here. Let's try to do it so that the roots will like this. Oh yeah, oh my gosh. <gasps> I might have to put a stake in there. But actually, once I get the soil in, I think it will hold it up better. I really do. The soil is gorgeous. Yeah, I think it'll I think it'll be fine now. Wow, this is gonna be so great. Look how beautiful this looks. Oh my land, you guys. Oh, Molly. Okay. So I'm pretty happy right now. So these are, all right. So let's see. Um, I am pretty happy with how it looks. It's very beautiful. See the gorgeous moss right through the back and everything. I feel like it's standing up pretty good. Um, so now I'm just going to take a little bit of gardening. Gardening tape, it's just a small piece. And I'm going to tie it up. Tie it right up. All right, that's going to be pretty sweet right there. This is way too long. Alright. There it is. Syngonium chia pence on a new moss pole. I will keep you informed and updated on how this is how this grows. So there's another moss pole technique. All right, another one I want to show you is, you probably saw it with what I was just doing. This is another moss pole that I found on Amazon. What's cool about this is that it's bendable. Very, very nifty. Um, what I'm not extremely thrilled with this one about, about this one is that um, it's not very stable. I mean, it, you see how easy it bends? I feel like it's not, I just, you'd have to plant it really deep, so that's what I'm gonna do. So, <clears throat> what I have to, what I have to, um, what I wanna put on a moss pole now is this beautiful Mangilopophos that I've been growing for quite a while, gorgeous. And I'm gonna put it on this moss pole. So it's in a pretty small pot right now, so I'm gonna put it in one of these plastic pots that I love. So let's start to do that by going ahead and back up to those. Well, let's just use this. You know, whatever falls out, falls out, whatever. Okay, so this I was just holding up. This is an Angela Pothos. Beautiful. Ooh! All right, I'm pretty excited about this. Pretty excited about this. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Open them up. There we go. 
All right, oh my goodness. I'm really excited about doing this right now because she needed it. As you can see, she's very root bound. She's ready to go. Not, I wouldn't say root bound, but very well, very well rooted. So I'm going to get rid of some of this. She's been in here for a bit. And get rid of this um, piece of screen, which she started to go through. Yeah, so that's really good. So there's a nice, beautiful root system there. So I am going to put this in here and bring you down here with me a little bit. Fill it up. Now because this moss pole is um, so skinny, I'm just gonna, I'm gonna have to put a lot of this in before I try to poke it in because it won't, it's not gonna stand up any other way. Oh, this is going to be so good. Some of the roots, some of the aerial roots are going to go right into the, right into the soil. So hopefully I'll get some more growth points from that. So let's just see where we're going to put this be. Probably right. Oh, see what I mean? Oh my God. Gosh, that's not going to stand up at all. It won't stand up. Huh, that's pretty interesting with these. I guess um, I'm not going to be able to use this pole. I feel like I can't. Not with this pot anyways. I wonder if I should put it in a... I don't feel like I should put it in a bigger pot yet. All right, I'm gonna have to get another bamboo pole. I got another steak. I feel like this is gonna to help to secure this. That's what I think. Once it, once the roots grow and everything, it'll kind of hold everything together anyways, but um, let's do that. See if that'll do it. Actually, this might be long enough. I'm gonna wrap it around really tight. Yeah. All right. So I'm just really securing it. Okay. I think that might be okay. So now I'm gonna. Um, now I'm going to. So now I'm going to stick it up. See if I can do it right there. Do it right up here. There. There we go. So now I'm gonna, so these you just spray to keep them moist. So what I'm probably gonna do with this is put it in like a, um, 
a heavier ceramic pot so that it will um, not fall over because it's a little bit precarious right now. But I'm planning on getting some bigger bigger leaves on my Bianjula Polto, so we'll see how it works. So there's that. Now, last thing I wanted to do today is I have um, this beautiful Syngonium mojito, and I'm pretty sad about um, it's not doing well. It wasn't doing well, so I put it in Lekka recently, and I'm kind of nervous to see what it looks like now because it's still not doing well. Although I do have a couple of new roots down here, but I keep losing leaves, and you can see this leaf right here is already starting to yellow, and it's growing, but I'm going to hack her. I'm cutting her back. That's what I'm doing. So I have these three little pots. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to cut her back, and I'm going to put them in my Ikea cabinet, these three pieces, just because it's really nice and moist in there and humid and warm. And yeah. So, I might just only need one or two of these, but, oops, okay. So, here's the Jacenia, and I'll go ahead and put, my goodness, where can I put it? Well, I guess I'll just put it in here for now, while I can. Oops, wait, I can take this out. Oh, yeah, okay, I've got some new, I've got some new roots, so that's really, really good. Really good. So I feel, I feel much better about this now. Um, as you can see, I've got some new roots that have established since I put them in there, but the leaves keep dying, so I feel like I'm gonna do something different. So I'm gonna take the pawn off of here. Did I call it Lekka before again? Oh my gosh. Yeah, those are some beautiful new roots. So what I'll do is I will cut it off. Actually, I think I'm gonna cut it off right here. Right there. So that's going to be one. You can actually you can see the growth. See a little growth point right there on the top. See it right there. So that's going to be one. And two. All right. So we're going to have four. So I think I will use all three of them. Actually, I think I'm gonna plant this. I'm just gonna plant it. That's what I'm gonna do. And I'll just put, I'll use two. Actually, I think I might put them all in one. I think I will. I'll put them all in one, you guys. So put a bunch in here, and then just lay them in here this. Now I'm going to put them in my Ikea cabinet. And the way that I use these little, um, uh, I forget what it's called, but it's a brand of stuff that they have. And um, they, this slides into a little piece on the top of my cabinet. So you kind of have to put stuff on one end because it's going to, it's going to be covered up like this much. So this is going to be hanging out. So yeah, all right, I feel pretty good about that. I'm gonna go ahead and start these over again. See how they do. And those are ready, okay. And then I might as well just take this little pot right here and fill it up with soil. Hold on a second. much. I'm pretty excited about this now. Really excited about it.
there. So I think this one's going to grow fine. I really do. All right. Well, so those are the different moss poles that I have. Hey, this is a really good shot to show you. All right, so there you have it. You've got this moss pole that is really bendy. You can bend it anyway. You can make a heart out of it. You can just make a snake look out of it. Um, retains this moisture pretty good because I, I did wet this once already even though I hadn't used it yet. So we'll see how this one grows. This is one that I just made, the new plastic kind. Really beautiful, very sturdy. <clears throat> Let me turn it around so you can see what I get going on there. My chia pence. This one, these moss poles. I don't know how long it'll take that big fat peg to rot, but they work pretty well. Then of course the homemade moss poles, which I think, let me turn this around so you can see again, I think work very well too. So yeah, there you have it. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you made it to the end, I really appreciate it. Um, I'm dressed differently. I don't know what happened when I went to edit my video that I made. Um, the, the, I lost a whole part of it that was the salut salutation and me saying thank you for watching. So that's why I look different. It's three hours ago that I made my video. So thank you so much. If you have not subscribed to my channel, please do so. I would really appreciate it. And you can um, click on the bell icon to get notifications. I try to put a video up every week. Um, plants are my passion. I really appreciate your um, checking me out. So until next time, take care of yourself. And God bless.